podcast something. A type of thing we've never reviewed before because this is a web camera. Yep, you've just fallen asleep. I know. I know you have just fallen asleep. But wake up because this is an early web camera. This is from 1999. And this will give you a performance of 640 by 480 pixels. Ooh. Or even 320 by 240 pixels on video. Yes, and this will win work with your latest Windows 95 or 98 PC and even XP. So, let's uh, have a look at this box, crack this out, get it going, see what the software is like, and see what the, uh, the camera's like in its performance. Hmm. So, first of all, the box, the thing in front of us. As you can see, this is the international version. Capture stills on video, email them anywhere. I mean, you can email him even where there's no email. Mm, no go. Meet face to face online. This was quite a novelty back in the uh, mid to late 90s. I myself couldn't use video at this time because, yeah, my internet was still way too slow for anything like this. I was on 56 kilobytes a second dial up. So this wasn't happening for me, but for those who did have better connections, yeah, this was an option. Yep, funky 90s kid there with a funky 90s dog and that's quite subtle for the 90s, the lady sideways on. Uh, what's it say here? Broadcast live video over the web. You should be so lucky back in that time. The simple way to get closer, a quick cam express. We got specs. You'll need a uh, Windows 95. Or 98 PC Pentium 200 or superior so yeah this is latest PCs only this is pushing the limits so you know if you haven't got the latest PC might not be worth buying this and on the back we've got pictures of the software which you'll see anywhere in a moment and more gumph about specs and stuff but we've seen all that before so let's have a quick look what we get inside the boxy. First of all, uh, we have the exciting stuff. Warranties, no. Uh, what we have is Spotlife. Where it's in English? Spotlife, which is some sort of website where you could uh, start broadcasting live video and audio over the internet now. A free service from Spotlife, already part of your quick cam software. There uh, seems to be some sort of uh, early version of FaceTime, YouTube sort of thing. Uh, defunct now, I believe. I shall look it up and find out. But, yes, it's probably defunct. I should put an annotation below as to what I find. Well, it will be defunct, but I'm still going to find anything on that service. Warranty cards. Yay. Uh, empty CD thing, because I lost the CD. But I'll explain more about that in a moment. Uh, Logitech, in touch with your world. Now that's more 90s. That's very 90s, almost 80s. And look at these fine Logitech products from the time. I have a keyboard that looks like that. And I still have a extreme wing, uh, digital joystick, which, which I use. Yeah, I've had that about 20 years. So, yeah, still in use. And a fancy one. Ooh, fancy. This is uh, basically a budget version, so... All those fancy keyboards. I had one like that, and I have recently found one like that. It's not Logitech branded, but I believe it's basically the same thing. Mises. Uh, I'm getting carried away with Logitech software here. Uh, software? Hardware here. Uh, I've had a couple of those trackballs, but in silver. And, yeah, there we go. A little bit of a... Nostalgic look back, never had anything like that. And in the bottom here, we find the camera itself. It has in the camera with a big, thick cable, which is a bit of an issue at times. Uh, nothing too fancy, it's just a round thing with a focus on the front, which you can move, and a pin on the bottom to keep it in place. No sound goes through the camera itself, that's all recorded separately, as far as I know. And the funky base, which you can put it on and Slide it around, like that, like that, and up, and down. And it's all in quite good condition. Found this £1.50, as you see on the box, so a bit of a bargain. 
This big heavy cable means that so when you're tucking this around the back of your PC, if you don't get the cable in the right position, you cannot hold this camera in the right position at all. It will keep moving while you're using it, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But there we go. That's the hardware itself. Let's see if we can set this thing up and uh, have a look at it running with its software. Right, full disclosure, I could not get this to work with Windows 95 and 98. Not the software's fault, it's the fact that my Windows 98 system does not have USB. Weird. And my Windows 95 at the moment won't talk to its USB. So instead, it's going on this Pentium 4, which is running Windows XP. I've had to download the XP drivers and software off the internet for this to run. So it's not the original drivers and software, but it's still the same. So I fucked it up. It's there. One of the problems you get is that big thick cable. Uh, it can easily move the camera and it's a pain in the arse to get it straight. But let's uh, close in on that screen and uh, we'll see what we can see. In case you hadn't noticed, this is a Packard Bell. There's something that might give that away. And that's my Clive Sinclair mug. Don't touch mine. Right, let's get looking. Right, to save you and me the agony, I've already installed everything onto the XP machine. So all we've got to do is launch it and I'm just trying to get to the internet, which it's not going to achieve on this system. But there you go. Very quickly, you can see, if I close in here, hello, welcome to the QuickCam Express, an early web camera. And as you can see, the picture is quite a fuzzy, uh, very low resolution, and the lighting, well, actually for something at this sensor, it's not that bad. It's not bad at all for this resolution, so yeah, it's quite good quality for what it is and its sensitivity. We'll, we'll see some pre-recorded videos in a bit, hopefully, if I can get them off here. But first of all, let's have a look at the features that came on the software, and I have to lean unprofessionally over, so I can take a picture. Uh, take a picture after three seconds, four, five, six. Close. Uh, if I can get these pictures off, I should put them on the video, but let's have a look. Take a picture. I assume it's cancelling down. Cancelling down? Counting down. There we go. And the picture's now in the gallery down there. I wonder if I can enlarge that picture. There it is. Uh, can't go into any larger, I don't think. Well, I can, but let's have a look. Where's my zoomy? There's my zoomy. And, oh, it's gonna have to off the camera there. There we go. So, yeah, for what it is, it's not bad. It's very pixelated, and you can see if you zoom in. Yeah, you can see the individual pixels in some cases. Ugly fella. Okay, that's that one. Uh, now we can record video, but I cannot get the microphone to work on this thing. Um, it's the computer's microphone. I cannot get it to work, so I have to do without sound. But it, this is about the webcam, which itself doesn't have sound, so it doesn't really matter that much. So if I uh, start recording a video in three seconds, and We'll stop recording after 13 seconds, so we've got 10 seconds of footage. Okay, so close and I'll record. Three, two, one. It's recording, it's telling me that. Hello, and welcome to the Quick Cam Pro Express, an early web camera. Blah de blah, de blah de blah, de rhubarb, 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 rhubarb. And there you go, it did it. We have the file here, which we can <laughs> open as a JPEG. Let's go. Oh, no, it's video. Kid. There we go. We can see it playback. As expected. Low resolution. Uh, I shall put this in the video itself if I can. Can I just draw it and drop? Or is this stuck there? Uh, save as. Save. Oh, okay. We might have been luck here. Desktop. It's an AVI, so I should be able to get this off and put it on the video. If it is, I shall play it here. Play it now. Ah, 
and I assume yeah we can we can just do the same thing with the picture so they are yeah they both appeared on the desktop there so I'll drag them off and put them in the video excellent I like that now next feature I did expect with this being uh, I'm going to talk to this camera with this being a 90s camera I expected to get like funky graphics and filters and stuff like that that's the sort of thing you'd expect in the 90s but it appears they went a bit more professional even the software is tame I can looking at the screen on that the software is tame it's not the sort of 90s sort of splashy color thing sort of this sort of jacket sort of thing going on that you usually expect it's very relatively professional uh, there isn't much you can do with the pictures Import, copy to clipboard, no, email, set as wallpaper. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, right. So you can create a video email. Uh, so what you've got here is, have a look. It's going to be a very, hopefully, probably, very low resolution. Well, it's so small resolution as you can see already. I'll just do with the video bit. And, uh, hello. Hello from England. And it was 1995 now, and... Yes, things are going on greatly. Yes, thank you very much. Blah, blah, blah. Bollocks. Okay, right. Let's finish with that. And doing... So that's a video email. Uh, email this video. Right, can I get it out? It's compressed it. Oh, no. So I can't get it out. Oh, it's stuck in there. Yes, I want to exit. Okay, uh, hang on. Right, just hang on, just in case. Yeah, save to file. Okay, close. Where's it saved the file? Picture, videos, those are old videos, not mine. Uh, hmm. Save to file. Yep, save to file. Include a player with videos. Close. Well, you'd expect some sort of file to open, but it appears it doesn't want to do that. Okay, so we're not getting that. That's nice. Nope. Okay. Looks like he doesn't want to play that game. All right. Create a web album. Publish to web album. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. This is like before Flickr and all them. You can just publish an album to a website. Let's just have a look. Add images. Uh, we'll have whatever that is. And we'll have that handsome guy there. And that handsome guy. There. Oh, just go for the whole lot. Add. Here we go. Add images. And publish. And there we go. That would send it to wherever supported sites. I have no idea. Create a webcam. This is interesting. What's this about? We are a web camera. Settings, web page, title, email address on the web page, image, include date, image, and location, type of text message or overlay on the image, schedule, update every. Oh, right, ah. Okay, this looks like it's one of those live. Like a lot. Yeah, it's a webcam, basically, being thick. So this would take a picture every two, three seconds, every minute, whatever you set it and publish it to a website of your choice on the internet so that is quite good especially in the 90s i actually used these when i was in the military to sort of a burger along and you could get software that detected movement and it would send images across the internet it didn't last long because you used dial up and dial up obviously breaks so yeah that didn't work so i broadcast now so oh spotlight your show Live broadcast, no schedule announced. So, Spotlife. Seems to be some website. Set up a show. Yeah, you gotta go in there. So it looks like there was some sort of show called Spotlife, which you could broadcast to. I shall have a look for that and see if I can find any more information on it. But that's, that's quite interesting. And look at my gallery. And my ones from the email thing. Still didn't come through and there's no filters no nothing like that but it does open your pictures with uh, paint so 
it's probably expecting you to do that. There is an edit image thing here. No, I don't want. I just want to image edit that fine fellow there. Edit image. And it opens up in paint. So, yeah. There you go. So, that's where it's expecting. It's cutting costs by just using your default software. So, one more thing to try with this. I'm not on picture. That's better. So, that's the software that came with it. One more thing to try on this camera. Will it work with a modern computer? Well, it appears the answer to that is no. Uh, the Mac couldn't see it at all, and Windows, uh, when I tried it with that, even with all the drivers updated, all you could see was this snow. So, on this occasion, you're not getting a £1.50 retro web camera, unless there's some trick I know to get it working. Let me know in the comments if you do. So, the Logitech Quick Cam Express. Well, if you see one nice and cheap and you want some retro fun with uh, an old web camera, perhaps even get it broadcasting on the internet somehow through Windows XP or Windows 10 if you know a way around it, but I don't, then, yep, certainly get it. It's not the worst web camera from that period. It's definitely not. It's higher quality than most from my uh, experience with it, but I have got bright lights here, so in normal light, it might be slightly different. But there you go. I enjoyed that. So... If you want to see more retro technology gaming and stuff like that then please subscribe to the channel please like the video because that helps you can join us on facebook twitter and linkedin links below and support us through patreon if you wish link for that also below other than that just remains for me to say thank you all very much for watching you need to quit being dirty you're a dirty boy